Hello again, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I wanted to do some milling. And I didn't have a milling machine. Still don't have a milling machine. I had done some with the uh, drill press. A drill press isn't designed to do milling. It doesn't have support on the quill for that kind of load. So I made up a milling machine fixture for the lathe. The compound is designed with this little tapered plug that goes down in the hole in the center. It's clamped in place with these tapered pins which are driven in with these set screws. The tapered pins operate independent of the set screws. So I made a plug and set it down so I can set it down into the pocket and I clamped the set screws And that locks this in place with a milling bracket clamped to the cross slide I slip a washer over the tapered plug then I slide the tapered plug into the center hole on a milling bracket take that down to the holds it in place and doesn't swap around I can spin this around to where I need it, but most of the time I'm going to want to have this vertical like this. That's got it pretty securely mounted. I can take up some of the slop in the gibbs by tightening down the longitudinal feeds and tightening up the gibbs on the cross slide but I'm always going to have a little bit of movement just because I got to have enough so that I can move the thing back and forth I don't have a collet to hold the mill so I'm going to use this three jaw while I get set up to do the work. This is the three jaw chuck that needs to be cleaned up and oiled. So I'm going to oil it up so that I can get the preliminary start of the work done. That'll let me build on getting the mount made so that I can do the work on the chuck that I need to do. So it's going to be cart before the horse.
giving it a pretty good dose of croil. The chuck jaws go in in order. One, two, and three. Now you can see these chuck jaws are loose. And you can see the tip of the scroll coming through position number one. So I slip the jaw up in there, it engages. I'm going to watch and it's going to come up around and there it is at two. You can see that scroll go through the opening. So I slip number two down there and you see number two start moving. Now we come over to number three and we wait for that scroll. There it is. Coming through the opening. Did we catch it? Nope. Didn't engage. I've got too many things in my hands. There, now we're moving. Now all three jaws should come together and center in the middle. Chuck definitely needs to be taken apart and cleaned. And when I turn this on, I'm going to get oil sprayed all over the place. There. Timed out pretty good. This is my only milling cutter. And it only has one end that's even halfway sharp. So we're going to try this with this milling cutter, but I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope that it's going to work. I'm going to plug the lathe back in again. Because I always like to have it, when I'm doing any work on the thing, I like to have it unplugged. And there goes the oil. We're running at a pretty slow speed. Give everything a little shot of oil. I'm using 30 weight non detergent. Now, there's specific oil for South Bend lathe, but I don't have any at the moment. So I'm using 30 weight non detergent. It's an old machine and it's got a lot of wear on it. Plug the lathe back in. Okay. 
bug report. And now I get to set up to do the milling that I want to do.